Dean Martin while I'm doing it. <laughs> but, uh, well, it's a great pleasure to welcome you here, and I've just heard the, the sad news about John's not being able to be here. I thought I was going to be able to congratulate him on his new daughter, but I, I hope that, and I'm sure we all join together in hoping and praying that everything is, is all right. But uh, I just want to express appreciation. I, know that you've probably heard it from all of us from the National Committee here for all that you've done and your help in the party and the help that you've evidenced uh, simply by coming here. As I said over the other side of the line there, uh, if you'd have just stayed there and invited me, I'd have been happy to come there. <laughs> we will. <laughs> Except you know that old song from World War I about uh, oh, how I hate to get up in the morning you know, someday I'm going to murder the bugler, someday I'm going to find him dead, and then I'll get that other pup, the one that breaks the bugler up. I keep looking for that fellow that tells me what I'm going to be doing every 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm back here. I, uh, I just say, I'll go to Hawaii as if it'd be the easiest thing in the world. I don't even get to California to see the ranch. <laughs> 
But um, I think we've got a cause, and I, uh, even though you're far away out there, believe me, you're not forgotten. You're part of the family, and uh, we, we're going to have candidates needing your help and support. And uh, again, I just thank you for, for doing what you're doing. Talk to your neighbors and get them to do it too. We've been negotiating back here and working very hard with regard to the projected deficits and the uh, cuts in spending that are going to be needed and some other things to make it work. And so far we're, I hate to say, meeting with resistance because my hope was that we'd be able to come before the people in this election year standing together with the leadership on the other side and saying that together we're willing to to compromise with each other and to make it work and to do things that are necessary if we're going to uh, carry forward. Now, I don't say that that's gone by the boards. We're still at it trying to get that. If not, then we're going to have to go before the people ourselves and tell the people this is what has to be done and ask the people to let their congressmen know that they'd like to have that done. It's absolutely essential if we're going to have recovery. Uh, Nick Richards told me a little while ago, a few days ago, about a, a banker out in Indiana, a small town there, that took a couple of million dollars of the bank's money, put it up for in, at interest rates 4% lower than the going rate for loans for new cars to help the car dealers in the area. And the rush was almost instant. And now I found out that a whole bunch of bankers over in Ohio have done the same thing. And where the average sale had been about 344 cars a month, it jumped to 2,200 uh, from there doing that. And just recently, I've been looking at the real estate ads in here in the area in Virginia and Delaware and around here. And that's the other great industry that's got to, got to be revived if we're going to come out of this recession. And uh, you'd be surprised at how many housing developments and so forth the, the builders, the owners of those are now offering their own financing at lower than the normal mortgage rates. 1% down and the lower mortgage rates to get people in. You've heard, of course, about inflation and what happened when they gave the figures for February to March. First time in 17 years that it actually went down. Uh, didn't just lower the inflation rate and keep on going up, but not as fast, but went down. I don't say that's going to happen every month, but the fact that for six months now, the inflation rate has been at 3.2%. Average that on an annualized basis. When we started, it was 12.4. Uh, I think that we're on the right track. and. Uh, we're going, to, we're going to stay with it, so we need all your help. And I'm going to quit talking now, or this drink will get cold. <laughs> Nancy would have been here, incidentally, to speak to you also. I bid you welcome, but uh, Nancy is uh, in California by now. <laughs> I don't think it's raining out there. Huh? It's not raining out there right now, is it? Uh, it was this morning. Oh, was it? I don't know what it's still doing. It's a very close regional final. Fever daily. Oh, yes. Yes.
Nathan Dennis and Slot and the Cabinet Council on Commerce and Trade. Well, uh, glad I've seen you while you're still healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to tell everybody around here to go home to their families at the end of the day, and, and I still know they. Well, that's what I'm going to discuss that for better yet. Yeah. I use the excuse to see that you'll go home more if I go home first, so I go home first. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Dennis has just had an addition to his family as well, so he's got extra reasons last, last week. Well, but that's, yes, of course. I, I was told about that. I, that's right. Congratulations. Thanks. That's great. Mother and child, I should be doing well. Yeah, yeah. No, it's very good. Well, thank you very much, Professor. Well, okay, why don't we go on this one? Always a pleasure. Thank you. That's it? Sure. Director Mike Schuler. Well, let's come on in here and I don't want you to move up one of the sure. chairs. Chair over there. Okay. Well, sir, we appreciate very much you taking the time for your busy schedule. We know the work to get done over the yes, budget. I'm going to tell you how much I appreciate the support and the help that you've been giving us on our programs and uh, I just hope and trust because I think we're going to have the same kind of a fight all over again that you're ready to go, <laughs> go into the trenches on, on this budget. We are. We just need marching orders. Okay. <laughs> I think we're coming to that point uh, very, very soon now. Well, as you know, ABC is a, a construction trade association made up of yeah. about 16 to 17,000 small, medium, and large businesses, but generally by and large small businesses throughout the country. Just like that and probably a member is building a help house for me on the ranch right oh, now. <laughs> Ted is a former National Treasurer Association and he's a large contractor from Alabama and I'm a small electrical contractor from Southern California. Well, wow. native and uh, a constituent in uh, two offices now. But we uh, have uh, supported uh, you in, uh, as early as uh, 1976. You spoke at our 75 convention. Our members uh, are behind you 100%. We're behind your programs. Uh, we hope we get the interest rates down because it's, uh, it's hurting our industry. But we're not after any uh, any help. We don't want any handouts. We'll uh, we'll wait a little while longer and we'll stick with you. Bless you. I I really I'm optimistic about the interest rates because I think the only thing that can be holding them up is the feeling in the money market they've been burned so often that inflation won't stay where it is, that somebody will do something and that the Congress will act like they've done before with the artificial gimmicks and up will go the, uh, the inflation. It's just not going to happen. We're not going to let it. And I think, I think when, as quickly as we can, when we can get this, uh, whether the negotiations we've been in for so many weeks here trying to get a bipartisan approach, 